Get your tissues out because I want you to think about the saddest story you've ever read. Now dry your eyes because I'm going to give you a much sadder story that's going to make the one you thought of seem like a holly jolly fairy tale of butterflies and good butt. A man in China sent $550,000 draining all of his money and his family's life savings to give it to a streamer so she would call him bro. I couldn't imagine something so pathetic. Brother, I'll call you bro for half that amount of money. It's such a small ask. Like, he wasn't asking for, like, feet pics or any, like, degenerate photos. Wasn't trying to, like, buy a girlfriend here where some, like, delusional viewers will donate to a streamer hoping that they'll end up dating. Like, it'll be this, you know, storybook conclusion where I started as a donator, now I'm her husband. Like, he didn't even want any of that. All he wanted was for her to call him bro. I can tell you right now, there are streamers that probably would adopt you and you would be their actual brother for 550,000 clams. Apparently, Chinese social media has been gadooshing this guy. He's been getting clowned on relentlessly for this because he's been tipping this one particular streamer for a while in a desperate attempt just to hear her call him brother. That's all. And he spent so much money and had so little left that he had to resort to just eating plain steamed buns to survive amidst his financial ruin. In his poisoned, clouded mind, the dark side took root, and he was convinced by the devil on his shoulder that hearing this streamer call him brother was more important than eating. He needed it more than he needed air and nutrients. So, they only list his surname, Hong, but I imagine on Chinese social media they know the guy's screen name because they probably recognize this because most people would remember someone donating this amount of money to one individual streamer. Fucking 550,000 doubloons all going to one streamer over a short period of time. All with the same singular goal of hearing brother being, uh, being whispered in the same sentence as his name. Most people are going to remember a weirdo whack job like that. And I imagine his screen name is something so silly. Like, I bet he has one of those, like, pseudo badass screen names. Something hardcore. Like, Gore Daddy. His spiral into madness began earlier this year after he developed an obsession with a streamer and began funneling money into supporting her. And they're keeping the streamer's identity undisclosed. Probably for the safety of the streamer, I would imagine, so that's not super surprising. Uh, initially, he drained his family's savings, and then they restricted his access to the funds because he was going ballistic, hog-wild with the money there, just putting it all towards the streamer. But that wasn't enough to stop him. That was only an obstacle in the way of his ultimate goal of hearing this streamer call him brother. So... He then decided to take it to the next level and start committing crimes to get access to that money so he can continue to fuel this obsession. And he actually took a play out of my local crackheads playbook where he started stealing copper material. That is like crime 101 type shit. That's like something you would Google like how to commit crime for quick money and a wiki how article would come up and this would be what they tell you to do. He was actually stealing copper in order to start paying for his donations to the streamer. So he worked in the hardware trade and started stealing the copper from it. He would routinely pilfer copper during his deliveries and sold it to waste recycling stations for cash. It continued until October 15th when the factory reported a significant quantity of missing copper and they suspected that it had been stolen. Police investigated, and Hong, accompanied by his family, turned himself in. He confessed to only two recent thefts, denying any further involvement, but, spoiler alert, that wasn't truthful. However, when confronted with evidence from his financial transactions, which revealed unexplained income and substantial expenditures on the live streaming platform, he ultimately confessed. He committed over 40 thefts since May, amassing a total of $316,000, all of which were spent donating to that streamer and trying to get her to call him brother. But that is an absurd amount of copper theft. This is like a villain the Crimson Chin would have battled in Fairly Odd Parents. Like, that is a pretty impressive amount of copper, and I got a sneaking suspicion they didn't get it all. I bet he still has some stashed away for a rainy day. He's probably got, like, a fucking bat cave of copper. He's like the Bruce Wayne of copper. Anyway, though, he did explain his motives to kind of shed some light on why he was doing all of this. Hong stated, I didn't want to meet her. I just wanted to hear her call me brother. 
<laughs> what the fuck? Apparently a good bit of the money has been recovered and returned to the factory, and the article reiterates that he had to rely heavily on plain steamed buns to stay alive and sustain himself so he wouldn't just die from starvation, because he spent all of his money donating to her, desperately trying to hear the moment she calls him brother. I picture this like that scene from The Dark Knight with Harvey Dent, where he goes, SAY IT! Like, that's him to his computer screen every time he donates to that streamer, just waiting for the word brother to leave her lips. And I guess it never did. He's still on this endless pursuit. <laughs> it's fucking... It's, it's actually frightening. Just how poisoned someone's brain can become. It's, it is scary. He even says, like, I had no interest in meeting her, didn't want to meet her. I just wanted to hear her call me brother. Why? Like, that's, is it like a fetish or something? It must be, like, to some degree, right? You would think. Something has truly gone awry in the old noodle up there that would lead someone to be like, I'm going to give not only all of my money, but all of my family's money to this streamer because I really want to hear her call me brother. That's so peculiar. That's so odd. Dude was willing to die for the cause too, like a brave Astartes warrior out of Warhammer 40k here. This man was starving himself. Like, I bet he was fighting rats for scraps. Like, you know, beating rats for crumbs around his, uh, around his abode. Like, I don't know what state he was in when they found him, but from the way they, start, like, they talk about him, I imagine he was in a state of near malnourishment if he only had, like, some plain steamed buns to survive off of because he actually spent every single dollar on this quest to hear the streamer call him brother. And, I guess, still, never even accomplished that goal. And something else really crazy that stood out to me that I learned from this article is, according to iResearch, the market size for virtual gift donations during live streams in China reached 19 billion, billion dollars in 2019. I feel like I'm fucking Dr. Evil saying that number right there. That is incomprehensible. And it's projected to grow to 57 billion dollars dollars by next year that is an unreal amount of money to be virtually gifting streamers and then it goes into like some of the uh chinese social media responses to the story what kind of copper is worth over two million yuan that really blows my mind if you just want to hear it why not record it and play it on repeat <laughs> checkmate I, there, there are so many ways that you could uh you you could poke holes in this man's plan it's not exactly the most thought out or most sensible plan uh yep there's there's a lot wrong here and another one that said four million yuan for a single word brother maybe you should see a psychiatrist uh, i agree with that analysis as well i knew the market size was huge in china but i had no idea it was that big so I'm starting to think that maybe I'm wrong and that $550,000 from a single viewer to a single streamer actually isn't all that abnormal over there based on those numbers. Like that's, I actually can't even wrap my head around that. That is unbelievable. I also imagine this isn't the only time this has happened. This isn't like an isolated incident. I imagine it's still probably pretty rare for someone to donate every single dollar they have to a streamer. And it's probably... Uh, one of a one of a kind here, a unique shiny Pokemon type story of someone who's donating all of that money to a streamer just to hear them say one word, brother. That's probably never happened before. But I think Hong isn't alone in being someone, a viewer of a stream in China that donates all of their money to a streamer they're obsessed with. We even see that happen in the States too, sometimes, on like Twitch. That's happened a couple of times that I recall over the years. I just haven't seen to this degree where it's, the family's entire life savings, then they're committing crime in order to keep going through this fixation. Like, it is, it's scary. Like, that, it is terrifying. Another thing that got me stinking and thinking was about the streamer here who received the $550,000. Now knowing what's been publicized about the individual who donated it, do you think the streamer is going to give it back? I, I, I feel like, you know, the money was stolen from the family and then stolen from Copper, Probably should give it back, I, I would think, but I don't know if there's any, like, obligation to do it or anything, so I'm just kind of wondering how that's going to play out. Hopefully the family whose life savings have been drained here on this degeneracy can get that money back, because they didn't deserve that. That's just, that's that's horrible. That's awful. So anyway, just want to talk about this a little bit. That's it. See ya.